Hello and welcome to 114 Linfield Circle, Union, Ohio. Here we're standing in front of this home looking at it from the street here. This is a easy to maintain ranch home. Updated roof, updated vinyl siding. Neighborhood's fantastic. There's walking trails and green areas everywhere. And this is nicely updated. Next, let's go inside and take a look. All right, before we go inside, I wanted to show you the backyard because it's really, really cool back here. Uh, we have a large patio, and as you can see, vinyl siding all in great shape, the roof in great shape. There is a large storage shed, and you even have your own uh, burn pit area. I think this may have been that at one point in time. It's grass now. A lot of privacy from the tree, so you know, great place to sit, but then check this out. This is what's really cool. All this green space, is basically kind of like community property you know, owned by the city. So there's walking paths, there's a creek over here, and it's not a big you know, raging creek, more just a drainage area, but just a great setting. It basically gives you like a 50 acre backyard. So if you wanna have a baseball game, boom, you got it. You wanna have a soccer game, a football game, cornhole, you have people over, just a great, great section. There's even, I don't know if you can tell, way over there there's benches and just a great great community right here next let's go inside and take a look at the inside all right so here i just walked through the front door immediately upon entering we do have an area for wet shoes so it's, we're not getting on the carpet coat closet immediately to our left and this is an updated six panel door good size living room two large opening windows here this overlooks the front yard Looks like we do have a spot for an overhead light right there that could be put up. The living room will flow right into our dining and kitchen area. Kitchen was completely remodeled about six years ago, so these cabinets are about six years old. The dishwasher is about six years old, and as is the range there, and these are very nice cabinets. Looks like we have a new light fixture straight up right there, and another one here. So perfect spot to put a table over here. Plenty of room to put an island if you'd like to put an island in there. This is where the refrigerator would go. And the nice thing, there's no cabinet above there. So you have plenty of space if you wanted to put a big fridge in there or a tall one. Then the utility room and mechanical room. This is our panel box here. These are all breakers, General Electric. Our washer would go here, our dryer goes here. And our water softener, that does stay with the property is here. And then our electric water heater is here, is here as well. And this is our main water meter right here also. And this is all tiled floor in here. Very, very nice kitchen. Now this door, I didn't talk about this door. This is the door that takes us out to the garage. And big garage, it runs the whole length of the house from front to left. And that's the back door taking us out to the patio. So walking back into the living room, give you another view of this. So coming down the hallway here, we have three bedrooms. Bedroom number one, this is in the front middle of the home if you're looking at it from the street. Updated six panel door here. Looks like we have a new doorknob as well. One thing I like about the bedrooms here we have ceiling fans in here, so definitely would help with the uh, energy efficiency of the home. All the windows, I believe, are 1984. This bathroom has obviously been remodeled here. This is a, looks to me like a newer four-piece shower tub. This is all molded together. We do have an exhaust fan in here. Looks like we have ceramic tile floors and wains coating around the side, and the vanity doesn't look very old in here as well, so a very nice bathroom. Linen closet straight ahead here. Bedroom number two, if you're looking at it from the street, this is the front left. And again, we have an updated ceiling fan in here as well. And there are a few touch up paints and things going on. So if you see a few little imperfections, they are being addressed. Bedroom number three, this is on the back left of the home if you're looking at it from the street. Ceiling fan in here as well. Now this one, you have two Massive closets in here. I think this room is 10 by 13, not counting the closet space, but look at the size of that closet. 
Uh, I think this may have been used as an office or something at some point, but just a huge closet here. And then there's another huge closet over here. Now, a walk-in closet, you basically have like kind of two walk-in closets. Now the significance of this room here, in this model, this is on a crawl space, so many people have put a half bathroom in here. So there is plenty of room to put a half bathroom, but with this being on a crawl space, wouldn't be that difficult to do if you wanted to put a half bathroom. And heck, you may even have enough space to put a full bathroom in there if you lay it out correctly. So fantastic home, wonderful location on a no outlet cul-de-sac street here. In the walking trails, I mean, this is just a great family home. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to talking to you.